two on. on. So Habiba, so what you've told me is that since the passing of your father, you've been having a tough time adjusting. Um, you've had some issues with sleeping and getting focused in school. Uh, is that correct? Yeah. Um, it's just been difficult to adjust and I was really close to my father and he did a lot for our family and um, it's just been really hard getting used to life without him. So I've had some trouble just falling asleep and and school just hasn't been the same for me. That's understandable. Um, losing a loved one, it's never an easy process. Um, Fortunately, it's just, it's a part of life. It's something that we all kind of go through. Um, so I do want to thank you for opening up to me and telling me about this um, event you're going through in your life. And I think it's really strong of you that you came here. And then I know at first you're kind of a little standoffish and didn't want to really discuss or go into detail about anything. Uh, so I just, again, want to really thank you for opening up to me. Um, and I feel like by you doing that, we'll be able to uh, help you out uh, as much as I can. Um, so of those, of what you mentioned to me uh, with sleeping, uh, can you go a little more into detail about that? Like what's going on when you're trying to go to sleep? Um, well, we don't have a very big house um, and I share a room with my siblings and I'm just worried about them and I just toss and turn and I can't get comfortable because my mind seems to keep racing and I'm just worried and scared for the rest of my family and missing my dad at night that's usually why I can't fall asleep until later. Yeah, unfortunately, like having troubles with sleeping, it's a very common issue a lot of people have. Uh, we all have it for different reasons, but just because it's a very common thing that everybody goes through, I just want you uh, to know that since it is a common thing, uh, that doesn't like it doesn't make it any less important between us. Uh, and it's, I'm pretty sure it's a thing we can work on. Uh, so even though other people have this issue, just know that it's still gonna be important for us to discuss this so that we can get through it. Um, for the sleeping, I do have a couple um, ideas that you can try to work, that you can implement and hopefully it'll kind of help you get back to sleeping the way you used to. Um, these are just common uh, home remedies that I've seen that kind of worked. Uh, so I'm gonna give you a list. It's about, it's like about five to 10 things. Uh, I want you to try to do at least like three of them. It's very simple things. It's like drinking a warm glass of milk, counting sheep, stuff along those lines. Um, I just want you to try at least three of them and see if they work. Um, if by next week, um, we'll talk about it. Uh, if you still have some issues, I'll reach out. I have contacts and resources and I can reach out and um, we can get a therapist and we can set up an appointment to kind of better address that for you. Um, how do you feel about that? Well, it sounds good. Um, how many, how many different things were you saying I have to do? Um, so I, I would like, there's, there's like, I would say there's a good amount. There's probably eight on that list, uh, but I want you to try not half. So we'll go with three. Um, just go ahead and try three of them. Um, so, in so it's Sunday today. Um, we're going to see each other Sunday. So that's seven days. Um, I think maybe try one every other day, or if you want to do them back to back at night after night, um, you can go ahead and do that. Um, did you need any more clarification on it or did you have any other questions on on that 
I think that three is manageable okay. and I could give it a try. Okay, and don't feel like you have to do these. These are just suggestions, um, but I would like you to do it, uh, to try it. Okay. Good morning, Habiba. Uh, thank you for coming in today to talk to me. Um, I spoke to your teacher who has a little bit of concern because it seems you've been having some trouble focusing in the classroom. Um, you, know, you had told me that you've been struggling due to losing your father um, and you've had mm -hmm. some trouble with this adjustment basically with sleeping and focusing on work. Is that, does that sound right? Yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. Well, this sounds really difficult and your, your feelings are valid. And I'm sure that this adjustment has been very difficult for you and your family to to get used to. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, everything's different now, you know? I used to feel like, I don't know, just like everybody else. And now I know that I'm not, and I just don't care, I guess. Like, I don't really, I don't feel like I care about school, even though I feel like I want to. I feel like I want to care because I was happy, but just with everything that's happened, like with my dad, I feel like that's been the hardest thing. And yeah, I don't really know how to get back. Well, this is so understandable, Habiba. And I just want to point out that I'm so glad that you're talking to me and opening up to, with me about this difficult transition in your life. And I just wanna point out that you're very strong in recognizing that you, where you'd like to be and where you'd like to get back to. Um, I have a strong belief that you'll be able to to get to find that happiness and that and that focus in school like like you used to um yeah I feel like I want to I feel like it's just like okay so like that happened but then like that throws everything else off you know so like I'm not feeling good so I don't want to go to school but I know I have to because I'm trying to like I guess be normal but I can't really focus um and then I also have trouble sleeping and then that's like a whole nother thing because then that just makes me tired and it makes it harder to it's just like a whole cycle that I feel like I can't get out of I guess but I think if like I could at least sleep better then that would be something I guess I don't know I don't know sleep is very important and uh, Habiba, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Um, how, what kind of things do you enjoy doing in your spare time or what, what, what usually helps you relax or wind down? Um, I mean, lately I feel like not a lot of things, but I mean, usually like music, um yeah I really what like kind of music. music what kind of music do you like um lately I feel like I've been listening to like a lot of like indie type stuff but I mean I'm kind of open to different types well have you heard of mindfulness or meditation um a little bit okay well maybe I can give you some some suggestions on before you go to sleep at night, practicing some, some mindfulness, some different. Um, I found that this is very helpful in getting us to wind down at the end of the day. You can listen to some 
soft calming music or some sound effects. Um, there's even some meditation podcasts that could help you wind down and close your eyes and to help you stop thinking about those, those negative thoughts. So would you be open to trying that? Yeah, I think so. That sounds good. I think that this would be really helpful. And um, maybe by next week, we could see how it goes for you. Okay.